Hello, and welcome to Cramming for Valentine's Day. My name is Robin Armbrecht at Really Robin Stamps. Thank you so much for joining me for this tutorial today. Sometimes we wait till the last minute to make some cards for different occasions. Maybe you don't have this problem, but I have this problem quite often. And so what I like to do is turn to some tried and true um, templates that I have and projects that are easy to do so that I can make some things for an upcoming holiday. So today we're cramming for Valentine's Day. So I'm going to share a treat holder with you and uh, a one sheet wonder to make um, 16 cards with you today. So let's take a look at the table. So this is the suite of products I'm using today, but you'll see with what I'm sharing that you will be able to use these ideas with whatever paper that you have on hand. So I'm gonna use this gingham paper. I'm going to use the Country Floral Lane Designer Series paper. And I'm going to use these um, pastel adhesive back sequins. And these are in the January to April mini catalog. Okay, so the papers that I've chosen to use are definitely designed for Valentine's Day, but they have it has a really unique color combination. So these are the colors in the paper that I'm using, Sweet Sorbet, Petal Pink, Balmy Blue, Mint Macaron, and Mossy Meadow. And these are the papers that come in the Country Floral Lane Designer Series paper. There's the A side and there's the B side. So lots of easy colors to use. I love this pop of balmy blue in these colors to add just something a little bit interesting. We're gonna lean in on the balmy blue and we're gonna throw in some gingham paper. So the first thing I'm gonna show you, however, is a treat holder. This is my favorite chocolate. And so it's nice when you come to a holiday and you wanna give just a little something to somebody. So I'm going to show you a super easy treat holder that you can make very quickly with for a Giardelli chocolate. So we're starting with a piece of paper that is four inches by six inches. So that was a six by six piece and now I've cut it down to four inches by six inches. I'm going to have the blue side be on the outside and the petal pink side on the inside. Here are the measurements. So what you're going to do is you're going to score along the four inch side one inch from each side. So it says one and three inches so you can just slide this and do three inches if you want to or you can take out, turn your paper and score it again at one inch. So you're gonna score first one inch from each side along the four inch side. Then you're gonna turn it and you're going to score at two and three fourths. And then you can either move it to three and a fourth or you can turn it and do again at two and three fourths. And that's gonna give you a half inch on the inside right in the middle, okay? So what you do is you're going to score and fold on these score lines all in the same direction. So everything goes towards the pink side because the blue is going to be the outside. Everything is folded up and in. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna make a little angle right here so that this will close and open and make a little pocket on the inside. So what you do is you fold this short line right here, the short score line, to meet this long one in each of these corners. So basically you're gonna just push this in, maybe just poke that corner with your fingernail, and then you're going to slide those two together 
give it a little pinch in the corner and then take your foam folder and just press down that angle fold right there. Okay, so let's do it again. So now you're gonna do it on the other side. You're gonna take the short side and meet the short side of the score line and meet the long side. Give it a little pinch in the corner and then press on the inside. So now what you have are these two lines that are gonna come in like this and it'll give you this side. Okay, so that's what we're doing. So now we'll do the other side. Same thing. Going to fold those two together. Making sure those edges meet. Give that a little pinch. And then press down on the inside. And then do the other opposite. up you're gonna see these angular lines on each side and it's really easy to come together so these are going to get folded in and secured both of these so that we have this little looks like a uh, fish mouth <laughs> or something on the inside and that's going to hold the candy and make like a little pocket so one side at a time take your adhesive and you're going to add adhesive on this section right here. Okay, so no adhesive in here or on this angle. And then we'll fold that together. And press. We have that side working like that. And let's do the other side. See how easy this is? You can whip up a bunch of these very easily. They're perfectly sized for a regular Ghirardelli chocolate, but you can fit other things inside them too. Okay, now watch when this pops open, you're gonna have this nice, little square center. That is a perfect little box. I'll show you. Here's the, here's the chocolate. It just fits right in there like that. And then you could kind of close it up in some way. So you can just punch a hole right here and add ribbon um, and call that done. And it just looks like a little, a little um, sack or um, kind of a little um, standing box. I'm going to use a corner rounder just to make the corners a little more interesting. And I'm going to use this fun um, one that looks like crown molding to me. Okay, I want them to be the same. Um, this one will look different whether you put it in um, this way or this way. So if you're on the same side, you need to flip it over so that you get the same design. Okay, so I'm gonna do the same thing on this side. Okay, so let's make a hole for some ribbon. Going to use this variegated balmy blue ribbon. Get our chocolate in there. And we'll just tie a simple bow at the top.
Okay. So there is the treat holder with our chocolate inside. And so you just need to make a little embellishment um, for the outside. And I'm going to use um, the little heart shapes that are coordinating or with this paper and they coordinate with this um, country bouquet punch. And then we'll add a little grating. So in this stamp set, there are lots of little gratings. And I'm gonna use this little for you for the treat. And I'm going to try that again. And we'll just add a nice little tag with our little focal point. So if you are going to make a bunch of these, keep your focal point very, very easy. So we'll lift up the heart with some dimensionals. done and take a look at the dimensions again very easy to do four score lines four by six you can make a whole bunch of them very easy here's another one in the red gingham paper all right so that's my treat idea go to treat you can put the special little tiny Ghirardelli chocolates in there. Those fit in there very nicely. You can throw some Dove chocolates in there. It'll fit a couple of those little hearts. So you can fit um, a lot of little choices in there. Okay, so the second thing I'm gonna show you is a one sheet wonder. So we're going to make a bunch of cards. This is actually from my paper crafting play date number two. So it's something I created a long time ago and it's a basic one sheet wonder. So you can find these uh, directions, this PDF for free in my free resource library at reallyrobinstamps.com. So we're gonna take this design, we're going to just change it up a little and we're going to double it. So we're actually doing a double one sheet wonder. Before we get into that, since it's the first video of February, I just want to say um, that uh, happy February, first of all. Um, today is actually February 2nd. It's Groundhog Day, and apparently he saw a shadow, so we're going to have more winter. Uh, so there's a new hostess code for February. So this is the hostess code. When you uh, purchase from me this month and you use my hostess code and you spend a minimum of $50, I send you um, a little something every month. So this month, we are put to, putting together a little mini um, background making kit. 
And so what you're going to get is a Stampin' Spritzer, which I'm gonna show you how to use throughout the month of February. And then you're gonna get one of the mini, the brand new small blending brushes. And you're gonna get a sponge dauber. And so we're gonna use these tools to make backgrounds. And then I'm putting in some specialty papers in your kit. And we are going to um, use some vellum and make some backgrounds. So there's five pieces of vellum. There's two pieces of shimmery white cardstock, which is fun to make backgrounds on. And then there's gonna be two pieces of the pearlescent um, card front size. So all of these are card front size, so they're gonna be ready to go, and you're gonna to get to play with these tools. So that is my incentive for the month of February. Um, the other thing is that it is still celebration, and so we get rewards every time we order during celebration for every $50 as well. So there's brand new, 10 new items in the Stampin' Up! Um, online store for a $50 order. You can choose 10 additional items. So it's a great time to shop if you like a good deal. All right, let's get to our one sheet wonder. So I picked these two pieces from the pack of Country Lane Designers Country Floral Lane. Here's the front and the back. So when you um, do a double anything, one sheet wonder, you wanna make sure that all sides of your paper coordinates. And so these papers, it makes it, it's really easy. Um, almost every piece in this designer series uh, pack coordinates together. So there's a lot of blue and um, all the other colors coordinate. So these are the pieces we're gonna use. And when we cut these, I'm just gonna make sure if something is directional, like these hearts go in one direction, these bicycles go in one direction. These two sides are not, so we don't have to worry about that. I'm gonna make sure that those two pages, the, direct, the directional patterns are going in the same um, direction. So this is the one sheet wonder. And so we're gonna follow the steps and we're going to make the cards. Now I've done a little prep work ahead of time. And I have already cut 16 card bases. This pattern for a one sheet wonder makes eight cards. So we're doubling, so we're gonna get 16. And then I've already cut 16 pieces of basic white that, it, that are four by five and a fourth, so they're going to fit on the front of the um, card base. And we're gonna mount our designer series paper on those. And then I also made some nice copy paper in the same size, and that's going to be on the inside um, for the inside sentiment. So those things are ready to go. We're gonna focus on cutting the paper together, okay? Are you ready? So the first thing that you're going to do this here. Let me just back up for a second. First thing that you're going to do is cut the paper lengthwise. So if your pattern is um, facing you directional this way, you're going to cut uh, vertical at four inches. And then again at four inch, so now four inches. So now we have three four inch by 12 inch strips. Okay. The second step is that you're going to um, stack these together. We'll see if we can cut them all at the same time. And you're going to cut at four. Oh my goodness, <laughs> not four. You're going to cut at five and a fourth. Okay, and we almost did it. Let's do one more here. That is a lot of pieces to put in my paper cutter. Okay, so we cut all three. So I have these pieces that are all five and one fourth. All right, so then what you have left are these pieces here, okay? So you're gonna take two of them, 
two of the strips that are left and you're going to cut at four inches. Okay. Like that. And these two go right down here. And then this piece that's left, I'm reading my own directions. I don't have it memorized. Then you're gonna cut another piece at five and a fourth. So basically, you're getting these sections right here that are already prepped and designed to work on uh, as a, on a trimmed um, quarter that's four inches by five and a fourth. Okay, so here are your basic cuts. Let's see, I can zoom out a little bit there. And here we go. All right, so that's what we have so far. All right, so the next thing that you're going to do is you're gonna work within each of these piles and you're gonna cut each section, okay? So the first one, we're gonna follow the directions that are within each little circle, or, Oh my goodness, <laughs> not circles. We're gonna follow the directions that are within each section, okay? So section one has you cut an inch off of one side. Section two has you cut three and a fourth inches. So I think this will make sense when I do it. Okay, so we're going to measure at three. That's going to give us three inches and one inch. This one we're going to turn and cut at three and a fourth. So the first time you do this pattern, you might just want to use one sheet of designer series paper just to make the piles a little less confusing. Okay, so this third one we cut right in half at two inches. Okay, and then we go to this pile and we're gonna cut it in half diagonally. And then we're going to take this pile, which is also a square. We're gonna cut it in in half diagonally, but we're not going to do it um, exactly diagonally. I'll take that away so you can see. We're gonna offset it just a little bit. So I'm gonna twist, I'm gonna line it up with the um, cutting line and then I'm gonna twist it just a little bit counterclockwise. So we'll have a cut like that. And then this one, we're going to cut into one and a half inch strips. So these, mm, that was not one and a half, was it? Let's see here. Let's fix it. We're supposed to be left with So I need to cut a quarter of an inch off of these. We'll fix it on our cards. Okay, so these go together, these strips right here. And then these we're gonna pretend are still attached. We'll get creative with that. And then we have a one and a half inch strip down here. So these are all the pieces that we need to make our cards, okay? All right, so we're done with the paper cutter. And let's bring out our white pieces that are four inches by five and a fourth, and we'll start putting these together. Okay, so each pile is gonna make two card fronts. 
So you can use either side. Let's just bring these over. So this is the first pile. So you can put them together like this, okay, opposite, or you can switch them up like that, which is what I'm gonna do. So that's gonna give us more variety. So now we just use these right on our white. That's gonna give us some nice structure to the cards. So there's pile number one, and then pile number two, we're going to keep doing the same thing, which you can pick. What you want to go together. Let's put that up there so you can see better. I love that you can mix and match the designs when you um, choose your paper. Okay, so for the next two, we're going to use these fun strips here. And let's see. We'll do that. All right, for the next section, we're gonna use these angles. And we'll leave that nice diagonal on the inside. These kinds of projects are great to do while you're um, watching TV. You can get your pieces cut and 
kind of relax and just do some assembly and gluing. Okay, so there's our diagonal splits for the next two cards. We have our offset diagonals. Let's put these two together. I kind of like that. So these can flip around like this and make this nice little design. Or you can just have that um, diagonal split be offset like that. So we'll do one of each. So there are our offset diagonal splits. Okay, so now we're up to this pile that I made a little bit of a mess of when I cut it the wrong way, but let's see what we can do. Oops. All right, so these strips here you can just separate. Let's put that one in the middle. We'll put that one down there. Since this little row of hearts came off so cute, we'll just put that right there. Otherwise, this would have been attached to another piece but we're making do since I made that cut incorrectly. I'm gonna do the top and the bottom first, that way I can center on the inside. turned out kind of cute. And then we'll see what's left here.
So normally if you make the cuts correctly, you get three even strips that go across this card. And I'm just gonna put these right back together because this one went with this piece right here. Just place it back together. So there are our three strips. All right, we only have four left. So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna take these pieces right here. So these were, let's see, can you see? Okay, so these pieces were down here in the corner and we're gonna turn. Well, you can do it two ways. You can do this and then you're gonna use these half inch strips here. which are the same size, so you can make, choose whichever one you want. And just kind of make it as a, a bottom, or you can turn and you can kind of center this in the middle this way, which makes kind of an interesting little card. Of course, you could offset it too if you wanted to put it all the way over here like that. So let's center ours on one card. And then on this one, we'll just put this at the bottom of the card front. Now, if you if you don't use paper that has a directional pattern, you're gonna make it even easier on yourself to be able to um, put these pieces of paper anywhere. So that's that pile, and there's just one thing left. We have these pieces here, and these again can fit right in the middle, like that. Or you can turn them and they'll go this way. Like that. So I kind of like them offset this way. So we'll do this.
So there are our card bases. So now all we have to do is attach them to, I'm sorry, these are our card bases. These are our card fronts. And now all we have to do is attach them. Okay, so now it's time to make the embellishment cluster for all of these cards, and then they're going to be ready to mail out. So this is the little cluster that we are going to make that's gonna go on all of the cards. So let me show you how this is put together. I'm gonna to use the heart punches. These come together as a set, and we're going to make the scalloped heart out of sweet sorbet cardstock and then we're going to use the sweet sorbet gingham for our heart that layers with the scallop. So these layer together. So beautifully. And then we're going to bring in some of the punched designer series paper to add an accent. And then I have a tiny little piece of two inch by a half inch piece of paper. And we will stamp our sentiment on that. to make the end. We're gonna cut right in the middle and then cut from corner to middle at an angle. And that'll create the little flag that we need. Now this entire little focal point is going to be popped up on the front of the card. So I'm going to make sure that when I layer this together, it's nice and flat to help with um, when I mail the cards, it won't be too, it won't have too much dimension to it. So these little punched leaves are gonna go behind. Oops, did the wrong side there. Okay. And then to finish that off, we're going to use the pastel adhesive backed gems. 
and we'll use a large and a medium gem on those hearts. All right, so let's put 16 of these together. So now it's time to put our um, little clusters onto the cards and we are almost done. You can make these cards go in any direction as long as the pattern. So this heart, these hearts go that way. So I have to make my heart match. But when you have a choice, you can put it anywhere on the card front. Okay, we did it. Let's look at all our beautiful cards. We have 16 cards ready to go. And they all have a similar feeling, but they're all a little bit unique. There we go. Thank you so much for creating with me uh, today. I appreciate you being with me as I crammed for Valentine's Day. And I hope that you give these two projects a try, the One Sheet Wonder and the Ghirardelli Chocolate Holder. And thank you so much. Until next time, keep creating. Bye-bye.